Okay, back at the range today. Uh, some of you've been asking for me to shoot 300 yards, so I've got targets at the 300 yard line. I got my camera down there watching it, and I put the gong up as well. But before I do that, I new ammo. It's the Winchester uh, 300 Win Mag 180 grain uh, power points. $25 at Walmart versus 21. I bought another box of my favorite. So I'm going to see how it does at 100 before I do anything. Set up here. Ah, I gotta get to 100 on my parallax. There we go. All right. Hopefully, it won't blow the camera over with the muzzle blast. But here we go. Shoot about the same spot as the uh, other, which is what I want. Keyhole. Well, that one went a little low. The first two were touching. That one's probably an inch low. And I think I pulled on it a little bit. So anyway. So it's shooting the same point of aim so we can take it out to 300. You ready? Yeah. I'm actually going to try my favorite. Which is the uh, Federal Power Shock. 180 grain. They're all 2,960 feet per second. Which I like. So. Alright, turn my... 300. So now I've got to... It's pretty close. I'm going to pull that one to the right, so it's hard to tell. Which one are you aiming at? The second one. From the left or right? From the left. Actually, what I really want to do... <laughs> so my gong, I painted a 3-inch orange circle on it. And I think what I'd rather try to do is hit that gong. We'll do it. Let's just hope it doesn't blow back and whack your camera. Yeah. Yeah, that would not be cool. All right, let's hear if we can hear the ping. Nope, went over it. Well, let me 
me do something here. So, 300 yards, one mil is 10.8 inches. We drop 11.6 inches at 300. So I should just be able to hold one mil, right? Yeah, but you were hitting your target. I oh, know. All right, we'll just take it. Let me try this. I'd again. take another shot. You know what? Maybe I didn't drop it a mil. Still it went over it, didn't it? Yeah. What the heck? Put it between your two mills. The one you just dropped and the one above it. Uh... Huh. I don't understand what's going on. Well, you know what? Let me go back to that Winchester. It, it shot right on it last time. What is that? Which is your good ammo? The PowerPoint. The other box usually does better. But I thought like, you said this Winchester shoots real good. It was shooting good at 100. It's zeroed right on at 100. All right. I did not even see where that one hit. Huh. Let me shoot at 100 again. Go to the second one from the right. Zero. I can't see your holes in the other one. Shoot at your far right one and see where you hit. So at 300. Oh, at 300? Yeah, you'll have to look at it from there. Yeah, but I don't know if I'll see it. Is the problem. Next purchase, spotting scope. Besides my rifle scope. Which one do you want me to shoot at? Far right, it's a clean target. You see anything? Well, I swear it's in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. And were you dead on crosshair? Yeah. Well, I was on the one, one mil crosshair because it's a bullet. You know, it's got I'll try it. another one on the gong. Oops. Not controlled feed, so I can do it this way. There you go. So what was, well, I was shooting low and to the right. Oh, you know what? I thought the wind's straight from the back, but it may not be. Hang on a second. What do you think? I mean, look at the mirage. The breeze is coming from our back. That's what I thought too. Well, there it's switched, but it's still, it's not. Do you see, let me come up closer and see the mirage here. Uh, 
going left to right some. So I can account for that. Let me see something. What grain bullet is that? Um, 180. Shit. <laughs> it's, it's more of a quartering wind, but it shouldn't be making that. It shouldn't make a difference. Not with that grain. Well, doesn't mean it's a good bullet. way to the left. Still low, but I can adjust for that. How many clicks did you go left? I didn't. Oh. I went one. Um, and I'm going to put it right on top of the circle. See, it must have went right. one right on it. <laughs> you might, hey, go ahead and put another one in the upper left corner. Of what? Well, that's where you hit. Oh, see what it does. You got, yeah, you got all four corners, three corners, try for a four. Too. Actually, I'm just going to aim right at the center again. That went right above it. Hmm. That's weird. Well, let's let it cool off a while. <laughs> That's a lot of rounds. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We're going to let it cool off some. Okay, it's been cooling off a while. I let it through it. I'm going to let it try. Um, after we let it cool off here, I'm going to let it or I'm gonna try three shots. And I'm going to let my brother try, see what he does. Where are you shooting at now? Oh, at the gong. have to get it where I want it. All right, you ready? There you go. So, it might have just been hot. I thought it was pumping around this down range. Was that one mil up? Yep, which should be just a little high. And it is. All right, number two. I see it. It's to just the, a hair to the right. Right, yep. What'd you hang that thing on? A uh, chain with uh, hooks. All right, you ready? Well, you got it. Shot slightly to the right. It's kind of right where the other one was, isn't it? 
No, you edged it because it barely swung. Oh, I see, yeah. They're stringing a little to the right. Uh, there is a wind that's kind of swirling. Sometimes it's to the right, sometimes to the left, sometimes nothing. What we don't have at this range that we need is a flag. But I think letting it cool off helps. We're gonna let it cool off a little more and then uh, I'll let my brother shoot it. And so you see the one mill mark, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, just, that's what I'm using. The one mill above. Below, Below. you're aiming up. You feel that muzzle blast? Yeah, you can. That's such a pretty sound. Upper right. I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty hit close to the same spot. It was upper right. So, as it heats up, it's going right. Slicker and snot. <laughs> but you ran a dollar under it. It's not pressuring anywhere, is it? I wonder if it's got. If you're getting one back here. Wow. Because I was holding. I mean, dead on. And your bolts dry again. Well, I'm back home from the range. Uh, you know, some days are better than others. So, uh, today was not one of the better ones. Um, this is a group that I shot initially with uh, the Winchester ammo that I bought. The Super X and I wasn't too happy with it and I was like, ah, oh, you know, that's not too good. I think I'll stick with my Federal. Um, but I felt like I'd pulled that last shot, which is the lower shot. And so I wanted to give it at least another chance. So what I did was I went ahead and shot another three shot group with that. And so this is the three shot group shooting the Winchester Super X, 180 grain. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty stinking close. Let me get my calipers and we'll measure it. Okay, I pulled out my uh, trusty Armageddon calipers because <laughs> they don't need a battery. Now let me see here. So that group is right at, this is 100 yards, right at 0.6 inches. So that's as good as I have shot with the... Um, the Federal uh, Power Shock. The difference is the bullet construction is a little better with the Winchester so that it, I could use it for deer all the way up through elk. So that's something I'm gonna keep in mind. Um, didn't shoot that target, didn't shoot that one. So I bought these targets at a local gun show recently and they were uh, 10 for a buck 50, but I bought 100 for $11. So pretty happy with that. I will show this one. Uh, I'm gonna go show you the uh, gong here in just a minute. But we were just checking the um, the zero on the rifle because we were having really a hard time hitting the gong. So if you if you notice this shot, that, that's pretty close. Um, I actually had it 
hung up, I think, like this. So anyway, we were not doing well at 300 yards, and I'll show you why in just a second. So here's the gong, and as you can see, it was spray and pray today. Some of them, there's uh, multiple shots on that spot. But for the most part, I was having a terrible time. The last time we went out and shot, it was just clanging the gong every shot. But today, we were having a lot of trouble, and we finally figured out why. We started shooting paper, and I'll show you. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm back. I didn't get far, and uh, I was actually adjusting my cheek piece on my rifle because I I didn't like how close it was to the bolt. So before if you open the bolt it, it actually would bump that. It was no big deal but it kind of worried me about you know what if it got in the way. I was I was excited, had some large ungulate fever, whatever it happens to be. So I was adjusting this and I wanted to make sure it was working for the um, eye relief with my cheek well. And I went to open my caps and I realized Scopes aren't supposed to do that. And I thought, oh, well maybe my, uh, my mount is uh, loose. But I checked it and it's not actually the mount. What has happened, <laughs> and this explains a lot today, is that my rail base is loose. And so here I thought I was having trouble with the wind And I thought, well, you know, I know it's a quick disconnect mount, but typically you don't expect um, American defense mounts <laughs> to be wobbly. So I thought, well, let me check. It turns out, I don't know if you can see that or hear it, but it's actually this Picatinny rail that came on the rifle that's uh, not quite right. <laughs> so I am going to wrong size, find the right bit, I am actually going to fix this. Um, I do have some Loctite, like all of these are just finger tight. Aha! Loctite. Little Loctite on thread one. Red two. Putting them on in order. Three. And four. So, line this up, get those lined up. And get them all start. <laughs> Clumsy. All right, I'm just gonna do this by hand to get them tight. That's tight, tight, and tight. So one thing, here you go, lesson learned. On these Ruger, American Go Wild, they do not um, lock tight these or anything. So uh, something, something to keep in mind. Anyway, it turns out it was this mount, and so now I've put that back down with lot tight, and uh, just another reason to go to the rain. So anyway, I want to give you that update to show you that in fact uh, it was not wind or anything. This was just loose, and so my scope was moving on the rifle, and I only noticed it uh, when I came home and was cleaning it. So anyway, just an update. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and any comments.